Hi everyone, Joe Bishop here, Bishop Backwoods Parabellum. Today I'm uh, showing you this uh, Yukon SL crossbow by Horton. I got it in a trade. Uh, I traded uh, one of my wolf bows for it. The Hoggy on the slingshot one. And I want to say thank you for the trade. Only about 10 yards here. I'm going to show you a couple of features this bow has on it. It's got a dial of a dial of yardage on there. You side it in, which it already comes sided in pretty well. But uh, if I move back past uh, what it's set for the scope, I can go up to one, and it actually moves the the scope there. So can't see it unless I, I do it a lot. And that's down. Bring it back. Get back on zero. Shoot for the center of the target. And I'm off just a little bit to the right and that was probably me thing with cocking a crossbow that string's got to be lined up perfect every time and chances are that's what was on that and it kicked it off to the right a little bit. A look at that group. Not bad. I was aiming here, hit all three of my shots there. Still been a dead deer or hog. Lungs that big around. Put you on pause, walk back. Okay, I'm about 20 to 25 yards. Right, you can see that shot's a little, it's a little low in my other shots. So what I'd have to do, I'd have to go up here and bring that up just a hair. I'm gonna go halfway. I'm gonna go halfway between one and zero and see what that does for my next shot. Next shot was right there in the center of the target. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shoot again. Right, let's 
go look at it. That's my first shot, and then I took and I went, you can see on my, I had on zero, that's zero, and I went halfway up, kind of split the difference because I was only about four inches low, and I didn't want to go up too high, so I sat there and went up half, I went halfway between one and zero, and I shot. That was my second shot. Then my third shot was up here, and chances are that was me. So, this is a this is my Yukon SL crossbow. Got them, like I said, I got in a trade. Uh, Donald, thank you, and uh, just one more thing to put in my war room and uh, practice with. And you know, I always tell you, if you ain't practicing your skills when it comes time to use them, you won't have them. And uh, I am a, I shoot every bow out there there is, just about. I shoot a, I shoot long bows and self bows and recurves, compound bows, old bows, new bows, it don't matter to me. I just like shooting bows. It's not like I, I just like shooting bows. I like shooting stuff that takes skill to get the master. And actually, everybody said it don't take skill to master a crossbow. It takes skill to understand what a crossbow will do. Like you got these guys that are shooting these raved crossbows that are so fast that uh, they think they can kill a deer out there at 80 yards, and they probably can. But it only takes a slight movement for that deer, and it don't take a second. I know just from hunting with compound bows, trying to shoot deer at 40 yards with a fast bow. I was shooting one that turned perfectly broadside to me, standing there, had no clue. I drew my bow back, and as soon as I released, that deer turned to walk off to follow a doe, and I hit it right there. And granted, I did cut the promoter artery, and it looked, I had blood all over the place, and it really didn't go that far, and probably a better shot than would have by hitting the lungs but I found out from that day it only takes a second for that deer to move so it's uh this still is not one of them bows that you want to shoot out there 100 yards so uh I'm Joe Bishop Bishop Backwood Parabellum if you ain't practicing skills when it comes time to have them you won't you won't be able to use them so go out there and practice